Hello and welcome to the Altair Insider Tips and Tricks video series. So this uh, month we're going to explore some tools for uh, mid-surface meshing and for assigning thickness to, uh, to mesh that's already been created on a mid-surface. Now, uh, in the, uh, the past video in these series, I've always tried to make sure that it was kind of version independent. It really didn't matter what version of the software, uh, software you were using. So uh, I've tried to stay away from features that were tied to a specific uh, release. But it's been about five months now since uh, version 12 uh, came out. So I think it's fi finally time to start taking a look at something that's version 12 specific. So if you want to follow along with this tip and trick, you will uh, have to have version 12. If you've got it already, that's great. Uh, if you don't have it, what's keeping you? It's a fantastic release and uh, a lot of new features as you're going to find out here. So this first uh, feature that I'm going to talk about actually was available in... Uh, version 11 but it was uh in version uh, patch release of version 11 but it's really making its appearance here in uh in version 12 so let me grab this right here okay so let's say for instance you have a mesh now this is a mesh only uh there is no geometry associated with this uh and we want to automatically uh apply a uh, thickness to this well, what I can do with this tool, uh, and like I said, it was a re re released, I think, in uh, patch 130 of version 11, but it's uh, fully available in version 12. I can bring in geometry. So I'm going to import uh, some geometry here. So here's some solids that represent the geometry for this, uh, for this mesh. Now, this was brought in afterwards, so there is no association of the elements to the geometry uh, and what I can do now is I can come up here to the mesh edit elements and come to mid surface thickness uh, what I can do is select the solids that I want so I'll grab all and select the elements that I want, so I'll grab all and proceed. Then we have some options here, and I won't be going into the options, just kind of a brief overview of what the tool can do. If you want to know more about the options, there's always our, our very useful help uh, documentations. But then I just simply come here and uh, click the calculate thickness. This will work for just a minute or so, but what it's going to do is it's going to relate all the elements to a solid that it seems to be the mid-surface of, and then it will apply a thickness to those uh, to those elements based upon the values it can grab off of the uh, off of the solid geometry. And when I there we go. When I close this. You'll see that my mesh is there. It has organized or it has uh, changed the thickness of my mesh uh, via this uh, this contour right here. And then if I do something like come over to my 3D element representation, you can see that all my elements now have a mesh or have a thickness associated with them from this geometry, which had no association to the mesh whatsoever. So if you've got some uh, some legacy uh, mesh and uh, geometry, you can uh, bring them in together and uh, assign thicknesses to them. Now, the next thing that I want to show you, this is available only in version 12. And uh, I'm going to use our, uh, our collaboration tools here to bring this model in. So I'm just going to right click here and I'm going to load the HyperMesh model. So I've got some geometry here, some fairly decently complex geometry, and I want to create a, uh, a mid-surface for this. Well, in the past, uh, the pattern or the, uh, the uh, process was you generate the mid-surface, then you'd mesh it, then you'd apply thickness, or you'd possibly use uh, the mid-surface thickness macro uh, that allowed you to assign that automatically. But it was a multi-step or multi-stage process. Well, the, 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 the idea was, why make this a multi-stage process? Why don't we roll this all into one single process? And thus was born 
the mesh create mid surface mesh option here. So this is one big uh, process that's been rolled into this one screen here. And all I simply need to do is pick my solid geometry. Then I can come down here and set my, uh, my uh, values. So things like I can establish my extraction options for mid surfacing. Uh, I can come down here, assign an element size, indicate the element type. I can do a custom where I can uh, do like a quality uh, index meshing where I can do a parameters and criteria files. Let me come back here, set this for two. Uh, and then I can assign some thickness parameters on how it's going to go about assigning, uh, assigning the thickness. This is the same screen that's in that, uh, that previous tool that I showed you. And one of the really powerful things about this that really no one else has, in fact, nobody else has, this is, this is unique to, to our tool, is this ability to stop before. So I can run this through. I can take a look at it. And if I want to stop before a process, so I want to uh, stop before it actually extracts the mid-surface so I can clean it up, or I want it to do the cleanup, do the mid-surface extract, but stop before it does the meshing. I can click the stop before. It will halt the process. I can then go in and make whatever alterations I want to uh, to the the model, and then just come back and click proceed again and continue on through. And this, uh, as I mentioned, is is rather unique. So let me just uh, allow it to go through the whole process. I'm going to click start. You'll see that the blue or the yellow is what it's currently working on. Blue means it's done, and it's going to go through step by step, so I can track it through the uh, through the processes here. And when I'm done, I can see my part here. So let me come here, and I'm going to turn on the 3D element representation, and I can see that my parts pretty accurately represent uh, represent the original thickness. Now. One thing that's happened here is it has come out with this little uh, with this little fin here. It's represented this as a, as a curved surface because of the the curved surface on this side, um, and I've got that sticking through. Well, we have a tool for that as well. And the other really nice thing is um, I can reject it. If I don't like it, I can reject it. It goes all the way back to the beginning. Pick my geometry again. But this time I'm going to use what we call the insertion planes method. So as opposed to developing a mid-surface between two surfaces, it's going to try to insert a plane where the mid-surface should be. And you'll see now it'll run through that process again. I can do my 3D element representation. I get a nice corner there. But even with that corner, you can see that the thickness still properly represents this curvature here. 